in closing, how close are we to the coming of Jesus Christ? I've studied this book for 55 years every day. There's not one verse, not one phrase that needs to be fulfilled before we're out of here. We're leaving. When the trump of God sounds, in the twinkling of an eye. The question is, are you ready? Or are you just mastering the ritual without knowing the Redeemer? I debated with myself about telling you what I'm about to say, but I voted for it. a prophetic statement by Rabbi Ben Samuel. He lived in the 12th century. That's 900 years ago. And Rabbi Ben Samuel was called the light of Israel. He wrote his prophecy for the future on paper and told his followers not to open it until after he had died. Rabbi Ben Samuel wrote down these three facts 900 years ago. One, God has divided time into modules of 50 years. Now that's a jubilee. That's the fulfillment of the jubilee year. And he has said that Israel will be invaded by the Ottoman Empire in the future. And the Ottoman Empire is going to rule for eight jubilees. So eight times 50 is... 400. From the day 1517 when the Ottoman Empire invaded until 1917 400 years to the day when General Allenby rode into Jerusalem and conquered Jerusalem without firing a shot. His prophecy came true to the day and the hour. Rabbi, secondly, Rabbi Ben Samuel wrote, Israel would become a no man's land for one jubilee, meaning 50 years. So from 1917 until 1967, what about the no man's land? There's no way he could have known this. Because of the British mandate, the British ruled over the Jewish people. While it was the Jewish land, the Jews had no right of self-determination. They could live there, but the British told them what they could and could not do, and in fact, most of the time, sided with the Arabs against the Jewish people in their own land. The British have been anti-Semitic since King Edward I. That was hundreds of years ago. Then, he said that will last one 50-year block. That brings us to 1967. What happened in 1967? The Six-Day War, Israel defeated five nations in six days. Israel, the land of Israel, was increased 400%, four times in one day. Jerusalem was reunited. The Jewish people, for the first time in 1850 years, were praying at the Western Wall. Then, listen to this, Rabbi Samuel said, Within the next jubilee, Messiah will come. 1967 and 50 is 2017. Now, I am not setting a date. Don't you dare go out of here and say, John Hagee said, Jesus is coming in 1970. I am telling you what someone who's been dead for 900 years wrote down. <laughs> the trump of God could sound before we get out of this building. And my question to you is are you really ready 
Are there things in your life that should not be there? Nasty little sins that only you and Jesus know about. Places you're going, things you're doing, things you're saying that violate the law of God. And you know that if you were to stand before the Lord in the judgment right now, you're not ready. Listen to me. I am not the pastor of the world. I am your pastor. And I surely want you to get to heaven. That's my goal. So I'm asking you to look deeply in your own soul. And if there's something you're doing that's offensive to God and contrary to his word. Today, for your soul's sake, repent of it. Let Jesus remove it from you. Become a new creature. When the trump of God sounds, walk through the gates of heaven, wearing the crown of life, walking on the streets of gold forever and forever. What a wonderful thought that is. We're getting ready to leave. I want you to stand, all of us standing together, bowing your heads in the presence of God. How many of you are in this room can say, Pastor, there's hidden sin in my life. There are things in my life that shouldn't be in my life. Things I'm doing, places I'm going. And today, I want to confess it before the Lord, and I'm going to ask the Lord to forgive me. Right where you're standing, would you slip your hand up right where you are? Several hundred, slip your hand up. Ushers, I want you to come. Prepare the Holy Communion. I want everyone in the building to pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. May the blood of Jesus Christ wash me whiter than snow. Let me stand before the Lord on the day of my judgment and be made pure. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am now a child of God. I will obey the word of God. I will live with the Lord with all of my heart, soul, mind, and body. I am a Christian. I am on my way to heaven. In Jesus' name, give the Lord a shout of praise in the house of God. Glorify his name.